I went to uh, college to, to not farm and ended back up on the farm. And so you basically at some point in time realize this is what you're gonna do. Both of my grandfathers both farmed. Uh, my father went out on his own when he was 19, uh, rented 300 acres. Probably at his peak, it was farming about 1,300 acres. And when I came back home from college, we grew it to a little over 3,000. Uh, I now have a 16-year-old son that is totally in the middle of everything we do. I have a nine-year-old that who knows what he'll do, but no one knows what they're gonna do when they're nine. I have a daughter, I'm for sure she's probably not gonna farm, but you never know. We are uh, extremely lucky to have uh, got on the precision planting bandwagon when it began, and we've stayed very, very tight with that whole idea and theory, and it just coincides with everything we do, and so what we're very passionate about is absolute perfection. Uh, we're far from perfect, but we strive every day to do everything we do perfect, and um, we have a goal of raising 300 bushel corn. That's what we're very passionate about is high yields. Currently we own a uh, Miller Nitro 5240 and have used it extensively in this growing season. Our uh, operation consists of uh, corn, soybeans, wheat, and we'll be planting canola for the first time in September. All those crops get sprayed a multitude of times. Today we're making the fifth or sixth pass on cornfields. So the clearance, I mean, you saw today we're spraying full tasseled pollinating corn, no problem. It allows you to have a 120 foot boom on the type of rolling rough terrain that we farm and keep everything in one piece. So there's no other suspension on the market like this one. This sprayer can literally be, every wheel could be on a different plane, probably upwards to 26 inches and have all wheels touching and driving. There's nothing else out there that you can do this with. Well, I mean, if you're gonna compare what we're using, Miller Nitro against John Deere, you can't compare it. They don't have a front boom sprayer. So there's really nowhere to go with that discussion. For me, uh, once you drive a front, front boom sprayer, I don't know why you would ever want a rear boom one, but you look in the rear view mirror for history, but you don't look in the rear view mirror to drive down the road. Same thing with the sprayer. Quite frankly, the ride, air ride seat, air ride cab, air-conditioned heated seat is better than any car you'll ever ride in. I'm not aware of anything this side of the Atlantic Ocean that compares to this.